Hello friends and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon VGC 2020 Battle Series. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris. Today we're going to be playing a Dragapult team as you can see on your screen right in front of you now. It's going to consist of Dragapult Arcanine, the forgotten about fire type that's still super relevant in this format, at least I think so. Then we got the Tyranitar weakness policy there. Something I've wanted to play for a long time, the Rotom Wash Roserade. Primarily the reason behind using this team today. I really want to give Roserade a try. We've got the wide lens on it. And another Pokemon, an old favourite of mine, is Aegislash kind of rounding up. So we've got a double ghost type team here. Um, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So let's, without further ado, hop into this one. Um, what I'm going to do at the end of this episode is going to have the rental team for you guys to try out if you'd like. So stick around for that right at the end of the episode and I will post that before we finish up today. So we've got our first opponent. Ratings kind of tanked from the last time. Um, but we'll climb and climb and climb to no regard. <laughs> we'll try anyway. But our first opponent is playing a team of Glacian, Ninetales, Incineral, Chandler, Gyarados, and Tyranitar. So we've got a kind of a Hail Core and obviously a Sand Core as well. We have to be a bit careful with the Hail Core, but we can utilize a Tyranitar to uh, get around that. Aegislash, not bad here as well. Have to be a little bit careful with that Chandler and the Incineral. Uh, other than that, uh, it's not too bad. Um, we've got a Fast Sash, Aegislash. So we'll be able to kind of nab at least the Tyranitar if we want to early on. Um, do I want to bring Dragapult here? The speed control could be good um, in that respect. Arcanine, pretty decent here overall. Rotom, good as well. Um, but Roserade, really looking quite good for uh, getting these Sleep Powders off. Got to be careful around these uh, Ice-type Pokemon, though, for sure. I am going to bring Roserade, since it is the uh, the Pokemon that we want to be playing around with. Um, do we want to go Dragapult up top? Probably not. Um, I don't know if I want to lead... Maybe Arcanine's not bad as a lead, to be honest. Um, no, let's 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 go. Let's go Arcanine. Let's go Tito, and let's go Rotom. And we're leaving that ghost behind. I can't believe it. But Tito's are like a big Pokemon that we want to be taking advantage of here. I feel. So we'll see how we get on in this first one. It doesn't feel like the easiest one to start off with, but. What battle's easy, really? Come on. No battle is easy. Right, let's see. So Gyarados and Incineroar coming out for us. Which is, which is fine. Um, the issue, of course, is going to be uh, the fake out into the Roserade and the Max Airstream. Which is going to be a little bit of a problem given the Gyarados and Speed Boost. But we can maybe play on that a little bit and go for a Will-O-Wisp into the Gyarados. Switch in our Tyranitar into the Roserade. Um, because Tito is going to be able to take both attacks pretty well. And if we can kind of neuter the, the Gyarados with a Will-O-Wisp, that would be super nice. I can't imagine Incineroar going for the Arcanine here. Knowing that there's the threat of the Sleep Powder from the Roserade. So... Um, we'll go into Tito. We've also got the nice switch into Rotom if we want to, but we'll uh, we'll stick with what we kind of initially thought uh, and hope that's how things play out. Whether or not it's like a super obvious thing that we're doing this and my opponent reads into it and thinks, well, the Roserade is really threatened here, so it's probably likely that we will switch it out or we will protect it. Um, and... There is the threat of maybe Wild Charge or maybe Will-O-Wisp. And then that would make sense for them to go for the Fake Out into the Arcanine. <laughs> and then the Max Geyser, which would be very bad for us. Very bad indeed. But hopefully, fingers crossed, it doesn't pan out like that. And we'll see what my opponent goes for. There's the Gyarados going for its Dynamax. But I would say it's more appealing to start going for these airstreams and get these speed boosts early on. That's what I would expect the Gyarados to start and do. Um, we'll see though. We'll see. Uh, there's a fake out into... Oh no! Arcanine! Okay. That's not ideal. That is really not ideal at all. Goes for the airstream still into the Tito. Um, so now they have the speed boost. 
are we going to be able to take the max, guys? I don't think so. But um, I think we have to preserve Alcanine now. I don't think we, we risk it. I think we have to just max with T-Tar. Um, max Rockfall into the Gyarados. Uh, switch up our Pokemon into Rotom here. Keep Arcanine for later because I do feel like a, probably a Max Guys is going to come out now from the Gyarados. I don't think it'll go into the T-Tar though because I think it'll be scared of proccing our weakness policy. And that's the one thing I think we've got going for us right now. I think um, unless you just want to get damage onto the T-Tar um, and then you go for it. But I would, I would say probably you'd be better off going for the Arcanine in this situation. At least that's how I feel I would probably go about it. I think I don't really want to proc the weakness policy and lose my Gyarados so early on. So I think I'd probably go for the Arcanine over the T-Tar in this situation. But we will soon find out, my friends. Um, we'll see the other option we got. There's the Max Geyser coming out. Would be just going into the Incineroar. Um... Yeah, the rock. I'm gonna eat that up because then the other thing it might have been better to go for would be the incineral. Get rid of that right now, and then we still got Rotom. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, either way, this is fine. So brick break coming out. Nice tech then. Probably one that we'll see a lot more of. I think going deeper into C series three of this format, especially with all of the, the G Max Lapras kind of kicking around. But we do get a. Uh, max Rockfall off. Um, interesting that the Incineroar outspeeds uh, T-Tar as well. So that's a speedy Incineroar. Um, but I mean, we're still in a, an alright position, really. It depends what my opponent brings in next, of course. Um, but we do have Arcanine with the Intimidate to kind of further neuter that Incineroar. I feel for my opponent. Ninetales going to come in. <laughs> We're not really going to be able to stop the Aurora Veil, which is a little bit of a shame, but uh, I don't think it's the end of the world because we're, we're going to be able to get our rock fall up. Depends if my opponent, because we've got a couple of options here. I think we could ally switch, um, which might not be a bad idea. Yeah, we're probably better going for the ally switch. I'm w the only thing I'm worried about is um, them going for Moonblast Brick Break into T-Tar, which probably would take us down. Um, so this is the only reason I'm I'm more tempted to pull an ally switch here, just so we can get the Rockfall off, just so we can get a Sand back up. Um, yeah, but they go for the the Aurora Veil, um, and we still got the Arcanine play the next turn, and we're going to be able to get our Sand up. So. Uh, there's a brick break. Should just proc our citrus berry. Yeah. Okay. I don't think we're going to be picking up any chaos, but. Oh, could be wrong. Okay, too strong. Is that a crit? No. Wow. Okay, I think because it's it's probably more offensive and speedy, it's not got the defense investment that we're kind of used to, and it didn't get the intimidate off onto T Tar prior to um, prior to coming in. So that has definitely helped. T Tar is like one of those Pokemon. It's probably been like my actual favorite Pokemon since it got revealed in Generation Two, and um, I've used it at like all my big events that I've done really well at in past and previous years um so it definitely holds a special place in my heart and i've thought it's very good all season this year and it's it's crazy that it's taken me this long to actually start using it what do we want to prioritize to get rid of um probably i could go for i could go for max knuckle you know might not be a bad idea i'm switching in arcanine might be better so we've got at least a bit more firepower um or i could just go max rockfall i'll go max rockfall i don't think arcanine really necessarily needs the the attack boost i think we're going to be fine regardless whatever happens here um icy winds obviously something that could come into play for speed control on either the glaceon or the the nine tails glaceon's another favorite pokemon of mine i do love glaceon 
such a cool Pokemon. Especially with Aurora Veil support as well, it's like, it's pretty scary. But it's deceivingly powerful, but not strong enough, even behind Aurora Veil, to take the, the Max Rock Fall. <laughs> Especially after the weakness policy boost. I mean, that's the, the big thing for us here, so um, T-Tar just really stealing the show for us, which is pretty nice. Um, I was a bit unsure how we'd get on with this team today, but so far, so good. But it's it's definitely not over yet. Let's let Arcanine get some glory here. We'll just protect the T-Tar and get a nice clean win. But we don't need to because my opponent pulls the forfeit and we take our first victory. So that's a nice start for us, my friends. Ah, there we go. Okay, I did say I was streaming on Tuesday, but things happened. Um, and I had, like, actually, probably, like most of you, I think the issue is finished now, but I did tweet out about an issue with connecting online with the Switch on Tuesday, which is today. Um, so it's kind of put me a little bit behind with what I wanted to do for streaming today. Uh, the the, the issue is resolved now, which is great. So we'll be picking back up on Thursday this week. So if you are around, make sure to come by Thursday, and uh, we'll do that. Um, but I hope you're all well. I kind of would like to stream a bit more, uh, depending on my situation, if I'm going to be working from home or if I'm having to stay at home soon, then obviously I'll have a bit more time to actually do some streams, uh, which would be great because that's that would be ideal with what's going on at the minute. Anyway, we've got Tyler Burden uh, as our next opponent playing a team of Conqueror, the Dragapult, Grimmsnarl, Sylvian, Bravery, and the Venusaur. Really nice looking team. I like the look of this team. There's Fake out there and the Bird, which kind of puts me off bringing the, the Rosa Raid again. But um... Rosa Raid, actually not too bad all in all. Um... Do we go Rosa Raid again? Do we go Rosa Raid? Hmm. Do we go Rosa Raid as a lead? kind of tempted to. I really am. Because we outspeed speed the majority of things on my opponent's team. Like, outside the Dragapult. Um, okay, let's go. Let's go Roserade. What's going to be a good part? Hmm. I think Rotom's not bad, honestly. Like, uh, I think Rotom's not bad. Although, you know that the thing that we could go is Dragapult. Because then we can start getting some speed control at least. And keeping pace with my opponent. Um, I think we probably want to maybe go Arcanine and uh, let's bring Rotom and lock in a team before we time out. Oh, I don't know. I'm kind of rushing through this right now. I feel like Conkledo is going to be a bit of an issue. We don't have the greatest answers to Conkledo. Um, relying heavily on putting it to sleep and then like Dragapult for the rest of the time. Which isn't really the greatest answer so maybe that's something on the team that we probably need to address at some point and uh, my opponent identifying that straight away um, <laughs> and bringing it out okay well we're leading with two shinies so we'll, we're, we're getting all the style points here straight away I'm gonna go for a sleep powder into the Dragapult and I'm gonna go for a Dynamax and I'm gonna go for the Max Airstream into the Conk get some speed control we are gonna see the Dragapult withdraw Grimmsnarl hit the field now, which is fine, because if we can put this thing to sleep, that is perfect. We've got the wide lens on the um, Roserade as well, because initially I would have went Focus Slash, but it, we needed it on the Aegis Slash for how we want to run the Aegis Slash. So for this team, it made more sense for the, the moves that Roserade runs, like Sleep Powder, Leaf Storm, uh, just to give them an extra bit of a boost with them. Um, the accuracy there, so that's the reason why. There's a max airstream, which is nice. Um, it's probably guts Conkledo, I would imagine. Protecting, like normally you're going to see protect on guts Conkledo with the flame orb, uh, but I think we'll be all right because we get the sleep powder. Which is great for us. I don't think we need to um, worry about the conk because even yeah, there's the flame orb. It's probably gonna go for like a Mac punch into Roserade, I'd imagine. We'll just start sludge bombing the the Grim Snarl. Uh, we'll go for the, the Max Airstream again into Conk, which should take it down here. 
Um, and if anything does come in on it, it's going to take a chunk of damage at the same time. So um, I really like the, the max airstream option on Dragapult. It's such a fast Pokemon anyway, but it gives like such good utility to the rest of your team. You're getting it off first. The dynamic speed change is in the format now. Um, or the generation even. So you're getting that speed boost like automatically pretty much onto any partnering Pokemon. So it's really useful, really strong. Um, so it is something. It's, it's something I don't see played like too often and whether or not it's down to just having the room for it or not I don't know but I just feel like it's such a good utility uh, a lot of players need to be picking up on it a bit more uh, we'll get another one off give Rosary that plus two speed boost we aren't gonna see a Mac punch from the conk so it's gonna just go down without really doing very much we'll get a super effective sludge bomb into this grim snarl because um, Rosary is pretty powerful as well so let's see how much this does Say probably around 50%, I'd imagine. Wow. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Sorry, my dude. The crit. Okay, okay. Well, we'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take it. We've got to take these things when they get presented to us. We can't... We can't... Not take it. So, Sylvia, I'm going to come in now. Uh, and drag a port. Okay. Oh, they can still max something. Um, I think we probably want to sleep out of the Sylveon and go. I mean, we could double the Sylveon, to be honest. I kind of. Hmm. But did we double the Dragapult? I'm just going to max Phantasm the Dragapult because we should get it. It is good. The Dragapult is going to max. So, be interesting to see how much damage this does and where the opposing Dragapult attacks into. It's probably into our Rosa Ridge. Ha! Ah, okay. Sylveon going for the max. Could have sworn it was uh, Dragapult, but we'll take that. If we can put that to sleep, then it makes this matchup so much easier. Um, yeah, this is into Dragapult. This should definitely take it down. Yeah, no doubt about it. And then. Um, as long as the sleep powder hits, we should be in business to close this one up pretty quickly. Rosa Raid on point today, and yeah, we're we're in a great we're in a great spot now to uh, just close this one up. Phantom Force and Sludge Bombs should do the trick. So yeah. Let's go Sludge Bomb and let's go Phantom Force. And even if the Sylvian, well, the Sylvian, it's going to have, it could wake up this next turn, I guess, but then Dragapult. This is a beauty about Phantom Force as well. It kind of pulls you out of the, uh, off the field for at least a turn to give us at least two Sludge Bombs anyway, which Rosary is going to be able to, to, to deal with. I mean, Mystic Fi Mystical Fire could be an issue, of course. Uh, is a Ph Phantom Force and a Sludge Bomb should be enough, I think. Depends on the item of the Sylveon. Let's see. But we've still got Pokemon in the back, so we're not in the worst situation ever. Yeah, I think Sludge Bomb's going to do it now. It's a nice chunk of damage. And Sludge Bomb. Oh, it just hangs on. <laughs> when it wakes up, let's see where it's going. Max Flare into our poor Rosa Raid. But we take it. We tank it. <laughs> Rosa Raid's so good. Rosa Raid is like the best grass type. Why have I not used it before now? The reason I wanted to use Rosa Raid is, as well, a lot of players have been using it uh, recently. So uh, this is the reason about wanting to feature it today. Um, we'll take advantage of the sun and we'll go from a flamethrower just to clean this one up. And we do pick up a nice win. So, um, yeah, two really nice games today. Good game there, Tyler. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I I definitely have if you can't tell already um but yeah it's been a lot of fun uh we'll probably play this team again later in the week uh but like i normally po post the, the rental team later in the week but like i said today what we're gonna do let's see where our ranking is i'm so i'm so so wrapped up with the ranking at the minute i just i like to know how we're doing at all times um, but not playing like consecutive days and for long periods of time is kind of hurting because every time I come back, the ranking kind of drops down a little bit. So, okay, well, we're probably back to around where we left off last time, I guess. 
uh rental teams this is what we need this is the goodies you guys are looking for so uh if i remember on as well i will put a poker paste down if it's not up initially i will update it or add it to the next episode with this team so uh if you guys want that do just ask remind me what team we're gonna get rid of though <gasps> So many teams. Is it time to get rid of the Ice Q? Oh, I do love that team though. Uh, let's get rid of this one. This one's, yeah, don't make public. Get rid of this one. Yeah, this one's kind of generic. Generic. We'll replace an Arcanine team for another Arcanine team, I guess. But we're going to call it the Rosa Red team um, for the sake of this. So uh, make it public. That's what we want to do. Um. But yeah, the team's super nice. It feels good. It's got a lot of options, got a lot of mods to it. You take advantage of things with the Rosa Raid. Uh, we want to check it. And there we go, my friends. There is the rental team for you all to, to grab, test out, and try. So I hope you enjoy it. And more than anything, I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. Uh, sorry it's a little bit later than I planned going up. Like I said, we had some issues with connecting on our Switch account uh, online earlier. So that's meant it's a bit later than what I planned. But um, hope you've enjoyed it, my friends. Do drop a like on the video as always if you have enjoyed it and you do enjoy this sort of content. It just lets me know that you're enjoying this and you want more of it in the future as well as subscribing for more of this content and also other Pokemon content that we do. We have guides, we have news and all sorts of stuff going on. So it's a lot of fun and it's great to have you here with us. So do subscribe, hit the like button and uh, I'll see you all for the next one. So until then my friends, take care of yourselves and bye-bye. Uh,